What's happening, guys? Try back again here, bringing another quick uh, MMA-related video. So just some uh, news that was announced uh, just a few hours ago. Um, basically, it looks like uh, Mark Munoz is going to be out of the fight against uh, Chael Sonnen, and he's injured. Um, they haven't declared yet what exactly happened or, you know, uh, what injury he has. Basically, they've just said that he is injured. He's going to be out of the fight against uh, Chael Sonnen. Um, so in his place is going to be Michael Bisping stepping up to face Chael Sonnen. Uh, I've gone on record before as saying that I don't think Michael Bisping could ever beat Anderson Silva. And the only time he could ever beat Anderson Silva, if he, if he was ever to do it, is if Anderson Silva needs to retire, basically. Aside from that, I don't see Michael Bisping ever being a <laughs> welterweight uh, champion. And I also don't see Michael Bisping beating Chael Sonnen. So this, for me, in my mind, pretty much cements... Uh, you know, the fact that there's going to be a rematch between Anderson Silva and Chael this summer when Anderson comes back. I just, I don't see Michael Bisping having any sort of a chance against uh, Chael Sonnen. This should just be, you know, an easy fight for Chael. Uh, take Bisping down, and uh, which, you know, Chael can take anybody down, but Munoz had that wrestling, that, you know what I mean, the same tier uh, wrestling that Chael Sonnen did, whereas Michael Bisping doesn't. Um, what threats does Michael Bisping really possess against Chael? His stand-up, his hands are decent, uh, his cardio is good, um, but, you know, can he, will he be able to stop Chael from taking him down? I mean, um, uh, Mayhem Miller was able to take Bisping down mostly, you know, uh, he wasn't able to flatten him out or anything or get him out, but I think Chael will have no problem taking Bisping down and, uh, you know, beating him very easily. So I think the odds in this are going to be crazy, especially since, um, you know, Bisping's going to step in to do it. I mean, you can't prepare for Chael's level of wrestling in, you know, 11 days or whatever it is he's got at this point. So basically, Michael Bisping stepping in to get an ass whoop and Chael should beat him very handily, very easily. I'm sure people will be excited to see this because I think they're going to, you know, they're going to think, I think uh, Michael Bisping has perpetually been promoted as being better than he actually is. I don't think he's ever really been, you know, a top UFC contender, a top UFC fighter. Uh, maybe top 20, um, top 15, but not really even. I wouldn't even say top 5. Uh, at, at his best, maybe top 10, but even that I'm like a little bit, you know, iffy on. Um, he does have a lot of experience inside the UFC, but he's one of those, you know, English uh, fighters you know, just with, with stand-up, good cardio, but really, you know, uh, uh, just a weak ground game. So I really don't see him being able to do too much against Chael. Uh, I'm picking Chael to win this fight easily, which he should, and I'm sure he'll be the favorite. And then, of course, we're going to see the big one. Very excited for it. Anderson Silva against Chael Sonnen to the rematch. If you haven't seen my video on that and you want to check it out, check out my channel. I've done a, an analysis of the rematch coming up and do a prediction for it. So go check that out if you guys are interested. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Um, sorry about the background here. I know some people don't like it. I'm going to be getting a green screen eventually. Um, it's probably something that I'm going to invest in in maybe like a month or something. Just some of the money I got from YouTube, put it back into you know the business and and get a green screen. Uh, I think that'll be very cool. So I'm going to order that. And maybe in a month or two, you should be seeing a green screen for my videos uh, about MMA or The Walking Dead or comic books or, or whatever. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. Later. Peace.